What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and as part of my yearly series, here's my every iPad comparison in 2015. I'd like to share with you guys the new two iPads that have arrived in 2015, and the overall comparison of every iPad ever made. It's just really exciting for me to look back and just see how far we've come. It's been a good five years since the original introduction of the iPad, and here's where we're at now. We've got a massive iPad Pro, the new redesigned iPad Mini 4, and the iPad Air 2. So let's take a drive back memory lane real quick. Here's the original iPad built like a tank, but absolutely reminiscent of Steve Jobs' design. Uh, thick bezels, very sturdy, comforting design, although very, very heavy. It's an absolute tank, but I love it one of my favorite designs of any iPad ever. It's really crazy to think how far we've come since this thing was just a rumor. Apple revolutionized the tablet market. Now we've got six generations of the original iPad size and uh, we've come quite a long way. So these videos, you know, it's just good to see how far we've come. And overall, looking at the specs, take a look at the original iPad, 256 megabytes of RAM, just one gigahertz processor, the same one that was found in the iPhone 4. And look how far we've come to the iPad Air 2. Two gigabytes of RAM, that's eight times more than the original iPad. We've got the A8X and the iPad Air 3, wasn't released this year, next year, let's hope for that. Now, iOS 9.1 is current at the time of making this video. 9.2 is very soon on the horizon, so that's why you're seeing that there. Now, take a look at the iPad Minis and iPad Pro. The iPad Minis haven't had as much growth. They haven't been around for as long, and the iPad Pro, it's its first generation. These are a little bit of the outsiders for the iPads, but I wanted to include them in this video regardless. I mean, it is the iPad comparison after all. So, I also want to mention, I'm sorry for the ordering in this video. You'll see some iPads are actually ordered by the year they were released, uh, because visually, it would look like a mess on video. So I just want to say that in advance. Now, I got to give Apple props. They have kept every iPad updated to the latest version except the original iPad. That is 10 iPads that have been on the latest version. That's just unbelievable, really. Now, I hate to admit this, but it took me a good 20 tries plus to get this right. The timing and uh, the iPad 1 sticking out was a little difficult, but it's so satisfying to watch, isn't it? So the first test, being a startup test, I wanted to go ahead and turn all of these guys off and on at the very same time, just to see. So we're gonna go ahead and start in three, two, one. And uh, off they go. So do take into consideration that some of these iPads, you know, have more features to load. They do have different hardware specs. And the only one on the different firmware is the iPad 1 original. So naturally, the iPad Pro with those 4 gigs of RAM is first, followed by the iPad Air 2. And then a close call between the iPad Mini 4, then the iPad 3, and then the original iPad was in fifth place followed by the iPad mini 3, iPad mini 2, and eventually in a couple of moments here, the iPad 3 is in eighth place. So surprising to me was that the original iPad beat the iPad 3 and 2. Next was the iPad 2, and then the original iPad mini, and lastly, the iPad 3 being my least favorite iPad ever. It was heavier, thicker, worse battery life, and slower than the iPad 2, as we'll see in just a little bit. So naturally, the next test is a Geekbench. It'll tell me, in terms of actual numbers, the progression between the years of the iPads. I started with the mini series, and then the original iPads with the iPad Pro at the end. So when it comes to the originals, you know, there was a healthy progression, but between the iPad mini 2 and mini 3, there was no change because there was no change hardware-wise besides the Touch ID sensor and a couple other little tiny details. Now on the other iPads though, there was a much bigger difference going from the original to the iPad Pro. So the original only had one core, 472, so it was a little bit higher single core than the iPad 2, but then you do see a steady progression except uh, with the 2 and the 3. So the iPad 3 was honestly one of the worst iPads ever made. It had the same hardware as the 2, but a high resolution screen with the same amount of power to push it with. Not a very good combo. And just a couple smaller other tests. I did test the wireless capabilities of the iPads, and I understand this is reliant on my network speed, but at the same distance from the routers, these iPads did perform differently, and I got different download speeds for all of them. My upload speeds, of course, were all the same, but there was a healthy progression as wireless technology kept getting better. And just to throw it in, I did test HTML5 compatibility of the browsers. On some you got 409, some 407. 
but overall mostly the same. I also did test the speaker output in terms of decibels and I was surprised to find that it kept getting better every single generation. I tested the same sound on all of them at max volume and I understand more decibels doesn't mean better quality, but as the generations kept moving on, there was a deeper, richer sound in the iPad Pro. Oh man, this thing just blows all of them out of the water. It's the loudest, but not only the loudest, the clearest as well. And for the very last test, I wanted to test the camera performance, starting with the iPad 1 to the 2 to the 3 and 4, and then the iPad Air and Air 2. So you can definitely see the progression. You know, it gets a little bit more crisp. Apple, although they didn't update the megapixel sizes, they did update the technology, and the iPad Pro actually has a very formidable camera. I do like using it. The Mini is the same thing. Uh, very, very slow progression, but there is definitely one there. So guys, that's just about it. In this video, I wanted to share every iPad ever made and compare them in a speed test and just an overall overview between all of these devices. It's very exciting for me to go back and experience all that nostalgia, see just how far Apple has come. And next year, we're gonna be seeing a lot more iPads. You know, the next generation iPad Pro, iPad Air 3, and I'm gonna have to make this again, and it only gets harder every single year, but I do it for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Leave me a like down below. This video wasn't very easy to make and I really would appreciate it. Let me know what you think down below in the description. What's your favorite iPad? Do you like this video? And be sure to subscribe for many more videos to come. Peace.